Hey everyone, so this is just going to be a really quick recording. Um, I just need you guys to do me a favor, make sure that tomorrow, uh, well that you set your notifications for tomorrow's live because um, there have been, I believe, 134 or 35 pages of court documents that have uh, released to the public um, as it pertains to the Lexi Treviso case, and we're going to be reviewing those um, during the live. Now, a couple things I want to give everybody an update about. There was a expedited motion for pretrial uh, detention, and this was filed by the uh, deputy district attorney who wanted Alexi to stay in jail and basically outlined the defendant to be held without bail pending trial. Deputy felt that Alexi posed a danger to victim and community, although the victim is gone, right? Um, the victim would be the, her infant son, uh, but they did stress that in this filing of the district attorney. So, and so that everybody's aware, the defendant is charged with first degree murder or child abuse resulting in the death of a child, tampering with evidence as well. Um, the deputy argued that the case supports state's request to hold the defendant without bail pending pending the trial. The judge did not grant the motion, this motion specifically, um, because as you can see, Lexi was able to bond. Um, I believe she's able to travel to Texas as well, which allegedly rumor has it that that's where she has her family, either her grand, either her dad or her grandparents or something like that. So, uh, and I'm sure they probably don't want her in that community right now because of how things have been going and what has been happening. Um, the court did do a very uh, thorough response to the findings of both deputy assistant's argument as well as the defense, and we're going to be reviewing that in the live. The court found ultimately that, you know, um, Lexi didn't necessarily uh, pose a risk, right? She doesn't have a record, although the crime is violent that um and it's outlined in that document and we'll review that um the court felt like you know that the state failed um in their argument to establish why she needed to be detained the bond that we know was about a the bond was 100k all right um so let me know your thoughts in the comments about this and again make sure you have your notifications on because we're going to be reviewing this in depth tomorrow in a live. I'll see you guys in the next one.